I'm Diana DeRosa, and I am speaking with Banu Ramazanova, who comes from Kazakhstan and is the director of the documentary Over the Barriers. So an interesting subject because I love it because I've covered eight Olympic Games and I want to see your country at the Olympic Games. So tell me why you chose this subject. Oh, well, um, the first, because I wasn't very familiar myself with the equestrian sport, but I always heard that we had um, one stallion that was part of three Olympic Games. And we pride ourselves as being a nomadic country, but uh, not knowing our history kind of uh, set me onto this journey about finding the journey of absent who won the for gold olympic gold in 1960s in the rome olympic games and then he went to mexico and won, won bronze and then i think he was at tokyo olympics so he actually he had a pretty decent pretty good olympic career for a stallion so and I wanted to know about what is happening right now with the classical equestrian sport. And do we have it? Is there people out there working in this um, sport? So it was like a journey for me and to let know the audience in Kazakhstan that we actually do have uh, this kind of sport that was beautiful. I was in awe. And so that's how we made the Over the Barriers. I loved the idea of you doing all this and letting people be aware of what you have in your country as far as horse sports and really some good talent. So now that you look back at this pretty long process, it's over an hour, the film, what really stands out for you? What are you most proud of? Uh, first of all, it's my crew because uh, part uh, like we went to this journey from like, we started in December of, um, 2018 and we finished in November of 2019 which is like a pretty good amount of film that we've been shooting and we traveled to Russia to Uzbekistan to Kyrgyzstan to Kazakhstan to cover all that and the crew was a uh, such a support for me like every step of the way they were like we're behind you we're still making this film because we people need to see this film so uh, looking back and um, actually the community of uh, uh, equestrian sports or horsemen back in, in Kazakhstan is, is very supportive. So we were like, we want to shoot um, this uh, uh, like uh, world games. And they're like, of course, come in. Like, we need to put camera here. He's like, no way. We'll find a way to help you to shoot like uh, the way you want, which is like the community and the crew was like the most amazing. And uh, the things that we could travel to Uzbekistan and Russia and see how Russia represents and how they like have their world games is like something very fantastic. And like, we want to have that kind of uh, like, uh, uh, what is the word? Like uh, how they moved on uh, the classical sport. I want to have it here in Kazakhstan. Well, fabulous. Well done. So now that people have seen the film, what are you hoping that they take away from it? Well, uh, the most uh, important for me is like, uh, I think I do love the festivals and do love the how people are sympathizing or empathizing with our film. But I think uh, the government of our uh, Kazakhstan needs to see that because they have the power to move uh, forward the sport because um, in the last three years, it was lacking the fan funding from the government and they need to see, they need to support uh, a sport that been like for centuries here. And we have, we do have a gold medal, but we, but it wasn't like 1960s. We need now, we need to like, to make it happen in the real world and like today. So I think I want people to see it and to be able to help the community that I'm so like in love with right now to help them to have the funding, to able to have a world games because in the last four years, Kazakhstan couldn't hold the world games, which was, was like very problematic for our uh, community of equestrian sports here. So I, I think in a way it needs to open eyes 
for our government and investors maybe sponsors out here. Well, I applaud you, uh, Banu, uh, fabulous job. And I think it's great that so many people are gonna be able to see this. So if people wanna follow up, do you have a website or some information you can give them that they can contact you? And do you have any last words you'd like to say before we sign off? Uh, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter uh, or on Instagram. You can follow, find me through my uh, name and surname, which is like Banu Ramazanova. You can find me on Facebook and hit it up. The last words is like, I'm so glad that this festival is happening, even if it's online, it's such a, to be able, as a film community back in Kazakhstan, as like, like a sports right now, it's lacking. And in the world, there is no festivals, which is like the best part of uh, filming. It's like to travel, it's like, I wish I could travel to America and be myself there, but with uh, this, quarantine and COVID-9, uh, God. And still that you have this festival and reaching out for us is like the best part of the festival that we could be somehow part of it still and see stuff, I guess, which is like fantastic. And thank you fe festival for reaching out for us and making us a part of the festival. Well, so exciting for me to be able to speak to you, Banu, all the way in Kazakhstan. I mean, that's really fabulous. The fact that we can do this virtual is actually an added bonus to the pandemic in a way because, yes. you know, we sort of went virtual now and so more people are going to be able to see your film and one day maybe you will come to America. Oh, so thank yes. you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you.